All right, it's been a little bit uh, more than 24 hours since we filled these uh, settleometers up with lake use and water. And uh, the first thing that stands out is the, uh, the one we put alum in. You can see it has cleared up a lot compared to the others. Now, uh, let's go ahead and let's go to the raw water real quick and check it out. And you can see that uh, you can barely tell, but I think it's cleared up a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. And you can see at the bottom that there's like a, kind of like a, a little bit of sediment at the bottom. It almost looks like a, a film on the very bottom of the, uh, of the glass. And we come over here to the alum. This one's the one that's uh, cleared up the most pretty quickly. It's got a, a lot more sediment on the bottom. And uh, it also has a uh, like little thing of little, little uh, uh, pieces of clay on the sides of the glass. I don't know if you can pick that up. There's also a bunch of air bubbles that are uh, attached to the sides as well. Those air bubbles are not on the raw water. You can see at the top there's uh, floated particles that are together. But that one is definitely the clear so far. And then we move over to the lime. And you can see it still has that dark brown cloudy water at the bottom. That's due to the uh, the stuff that they use to make it a to make it into granular form, and uh, but I, I think I would say it probably it's cleared up a little bit too, maybe a little bit more than the raw. And then we move over here to the uh, gypsum, and same thing here. We've got uh, the brown at the bottom, a little sediment at the bottom. Now this one's definitely not as dark brown as the as the lime, but it's still there, and it's probably cleared up a little bit more than the lime, at least so far. But uh, that's pretty much our update, our 24-hour update, and uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'll catch you later.